Hello, today we're going to review how to set up a new calibration curve and analyze that curve in Shimatsu TOCL software. And I'll be using version 1.09. First, we double click on the TOCL sample table editor. We can choose File, New, Sample Table, or if in the File Explorer we are on Sample Table, we can click New. The capabilities of these icons will not become active until we actually open a sample table. So to start, the calibration curve, we can choose File, New, Calibration Curve, or we can choose Calibration Curves in the File Explorer and New. A six-page wizard will guide us through the process to compose our new curve. Page one just chooses the instrument that we're gonna use in case you have multiple instruments. Page two, we want to choose normal and use dilution from standard solution. The ASI L Auto Sampler does a great job of quickly preparing our calibrants for us accurately and precisely. Much better than humans can, in my opinion. We click next. The analysis we're going to choose today is total carbon. We're going to choose linear regression. We will turn off the zero shift because we're actually going to analyze a 0.0, .0 concentration calibration standard. We'll choose multiple injections so that the syringe will aspirate enough sample to do all three injections if needed. And we will name this total carbon 0.5 to 10 ppm and today's date. Click next. The units we're gonna use is milligrams per liter. For this, we will choose two, the best two of three injections. We could choose three of five, we could choose three of four. I think most people choose two of three. We'll click Next. Please pay attention to the injection volume as we add more calibrants to the calibration standard curve. Um, this will change according to an algorithm that's built into the firmware and the software of the TOCL software. To add my first standard, I'll click One and Add. The standard solution concentration will be zero and the calibration point will be 0.0, .0 ppm. Click OK. To add our second standard, we highlight two and click add. The standard solution concentration will be 10 ppm and my first point will be 0.5 ppm. Click OK. The software chooses 300 microliters as the optimal volume for a 0.5 ppm standard. We'll highlight standard number three and click add. Our standard solution concentration is 10. Our next calibration point is one ppm. Click okay. It still says 300 is a good value. Highlight calibrant number four, click add. Standard solution concentration is 10. Our cal point for number four is two ppm. Click OK. Now the injection volume has changed to 204 microliters. And then for our last calibrant, we highlight number five, click add. We're gonna use our same 10 ppm stock standard. 
and we're going to inject a 10 ppm calibration point. Click OK. Now the injection volume changed to 50. So it automatically calculates for us that it needs a 1x dilution for the first and the last calibrant. It needs a 20x dilution for the 0.5, 10x dilution for the 1, and a 5x dilution for 2. Then we click Next. We're going to use the default settings for integration time. We will have the software do a correlation coefficient check. If the correlation coefficient checks after we check fails, after we analyze these five standards, I'm going to choose repeat. So the first time that it fails, I'll have it repeated. The second time that it fails, we might as well just stop it in case we need to check something out. Click finish. Now we have a new calibration curve available to us. We, to analyze the calibration curve now, we'll first run a blank. We're going to run that blank based on the parameters of that calibration curve. And if we still have confidence in the parameters that we embedded in that curve, we can just say skip the remaining steps. It would take you through the six pages that are similar to what we just did. Skip the remaining steps and finish. So we're going to do a rinse blank before the curve. And then we can just take the curve that we just made and we can just drag it into line two and run that next. And then I will copy and paste a blank in line three so we can rinse the system afterwards. And then we can click on the icon of the auto sampler to set where all these are going to be. So our first rinse blank is going to be in vial number one. Our, our first 0, 0.0 calibration curve is also going to be in vial number one. Our second injection for the curve is the 0 0.5 ppm injection. That's going to be in vial number two. That will be our 10 ppm stock standard. Our third one will be in vial number two. Our fourth one be, will be from vial number two, and our last one will be from vial number two. And then we'll aspirate a rinse blank from vial number one. We can go in and name these. save it. When you choose save, it will automatically name it today's date and underscore 001 because this is the first sample table we've analyzed today. If it's the second one, it'll automatically name it underscore 002. Click and then we would connect to the instrument, let it go through initialization, warm up, and then click start. And that's how we would run the calibration curve. Thank you for watching.